Jadak here, welcome back to another Minecraft video, and today I'm going to be showing you a quick little redstone trick, it's going to be kind of a short one because I'm running low on time, but uh, either way, yeah. And this is what happens when you go into spectator mode and turn on cinematic camera. I think it looks boss. Seriously, look at this. But anyway. Uh, let's go ahead and get back into creative so I can show this off. Um, let's see here. So we have this command block. It's got this command in it. And basically what I'm going to show you today is how the, you use selectors inside of a Telraw command. Um, so basically, for those of you who just want to keep it simple, I have a link for this command in the description. And no, I'm not just having it say JDog. I'm having it actually use me inside of there. So, is text right here. Um, you don't have to put this inside of quotes. I just, using a software that I use to help me generate this, it automatically puts those there. So, yeah, basically, it's going to have an empty text, and it's going to make an extra. And then inside of the extra, it's going to have several parts. So the first one, it's going to be a selector. It's going to target at A. This is kind of the critical part right here between that. Um, it, that's how you do it. You just put the selector inside of quotes. And then also, I've just got it set up to have dark red and bold. And then also after here, and then I did is a, and then after here I did boss, which is also bold. You do that. It does that. You can do whatever you want. Um, you can change the colors very easily. Um, right there, change the different parts of it out. Um, just to prove that I'm not accomplishing the color via scoreboards, I guess we'll go ahead and change this. Uh, there you go. JDAC3636 is a boss. If I look in, uh, I guess I can't look in my tab list, but uh, I guess if I type slash say Eddie, then yeah, see, my name is not colored. So that will prove. I'm not on a team changing my color, and so yeah, works really well, it's just, it's added in the new snapshot, same one as the title command was added. It's just a neat little trick, but I haven't found that much documentation on it, so I just kind of wanted to show that off, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching.